What's up guys, it's Blackwing2040, and this time I'm bringing back a series that I've done on my channel years, years ago, when I first started. I know I haven't been up to date with that, but I have decided to bring it back. I'm bringing back my DC vs. Marvel matchups, so I feel like I've been kind of lazy with this and procrastinating with this series a lot, because it was hard for me to find characters who, who could go up against each other. I was going to do, like, mostly, you know, the copycats first, because there are a whole lot of Marvel and DC copycats, so I decided to get that done first, but let's, I'm bringing the series back, so I hope you guys enjoy this, because I did some other verses on, verses, like, year, years ahead. I know they weren't as, as accurate enough, but I feel like now, and as characters that I mentioned develop, I feel like you guys could discuss amongst yourselves to see who you think would win in this fight all right so let's get started with the reminiscence the remnants of dc versus marvel we are we are going to be doing for this matchup today it's going to be catwoman versus black cat and i'm wearing a green lantern ring on my hand that i had black cat on <laughs> anyway now, these two are perfect copycats for each other because, well, of course, they're both cat burglars. And two, most importantly, they both have it out for the main superheroes. Catwoman has it out for Batman, and Black Cat has it out for Spider-Man. Catwoman and um, Batman's relationship have been going on for a long, long, long time. And I think the one time they actually stuck the note with each other was during the Batman Hush storyline, which I've read. And it's a brilliant book, by the way. You guys should check that book out believe me best one i've ever read well one of so catwoman is aka selena kyle famous cat burglar not not enjoys nothing but stealing anything but jewels jewelry anything and of course has a, a pet cat named isis apparently <clears throat> so i was <laughs> when i first came across catwoman was it was in um the batman returns um movie that's when i first got introduced to catwoman and then as I grew up, I watched episodes of like Batman the Animated Series, and I was always wondering like, why are they kissing each other? Like, why are they, he's a hero, she's a villain? Why are they kissing? Cause you know when we were young, we never knew the whole relationship with um certain heroes and female villains. But now, of course, we're growing up, we're mature, we get the whole picture, we know what's going on. So yeah. So, Catwoman, she really has it out for the Dark Knight, and I don't know what she's been currently doing in the New 52, because I have not read her New 52 books, and nor do I want to, okay? So, that's B Catwoman. Now, on to Black Cat, aka Felicia Hardy. Now, they were so close to putting Felicia Hardy in um the Amazing Spider-Man universe. I mean, they had Felicia in there, but they were so close to bringing Black Cat to the big screen, like, actually having her as Black Cat. So, I would... I would give Mark Webb some credit for bringing Felicia in, but of course with Amazing Spider-Man 2, I would agree. It had way, way too many characters. Like, he could have toned it down a bit with, the, it was too many plots and way too many characters for Spider-Man to go up against. It was just too much. He should have toned it down a bit. Like, just he should have just kept it with Electro and Rhino. That was it. Leave it there. Adding Felicia Hardy in as like a member not a member, a employee as at Oscorp, it was, it was, it was okay, but it was just, it didn't really fit me well enough, but I digress, so Black, I first came across Black Cat as, um, or, when I, if you guys don't remember, um, the Spider-Man video game that came out in the 2000s for the N64 and the Dreamcast and the PS1, that was the, um, the first time I came across Black Cat, and I always thought, she, I always considered her a hero, I, but in the comics, I never knew she was considered, like, a, somewhat like a, not anti-hero, but she's sort of, kind of a little bit like a femme fatale for Spider-Man, and of course, their relation, they had some relationships on and off a lot, and of course, I just recently found out when, um, Peter, when Doc Ock took over, um, Peter's mind and became the Superior Spider-Man, Superior Spider-Man knocked off Black Cat to the bone, and that pissed her off. Then after that, she had 
full out revenge for the web slinger trust me that's crazy so let's compare the two both of them have claws and apparently both of them have whips which is odd i never knew black cat would have a whip both characters are extremely agile met both are master cat burglars and they like cats for pete's sake but um I'm gonna say this though. I would give th this fight in general. I would give this fight to Black Cat because she kind of has a little bit, a little bit, a tiny bit of enhanced strength. She trust me, she does a little bit though. So I feel like she would have the upper hand against Catwoman. Catwoman, she goes in close. When she, when you're fighting Catwoman, she she strikes hard like. Sometimes she may pull you in, but most of the time when you're up close and personal with her, she will start with probably with the chest first and then probably go for your face. And that's different. But with Black Cat, she will probably strike you at any distance. Well, not any distance. Any range possible. If you're like, say this is you and this is Black Cat. Or say, say it, this is Catwoman and this is Black Cat. Black Cat will probably go in, will strike hard first. And Catwoman maybe will wait for the right moment to strike because sometimes Catwoman gets her fav training moves from Batman. But I would certainly give this fight to Black Cat. So, anyway guys, who do you think is um the better victor of this fight? Discuss it amongst yourselves in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and, and subscribe and I'll be back with another DC vs. Marvel matchup but until then I am vengeance I am darkness I am Blackwing stay golden